if you guys are wondering what's that noise in the background i am literally under my air conditioner like i'm sitting on my bed and if you guys are wondering why i'm recording from this angle instead of my usual set up with my white wall and everything is because my phone is at 20 percent of battery so i had to plug it in and charge it and also i'm lazy <laughs> to actually set it up where i usually record stuff so yeah anyways uh you guys already saw the title and the thumbnail of this video like you don't need me to explain what i'm going to talk about uh <laughs> Uh, I know I say, said this in like my previous Danielle Cohn video, you know, the fact that I never thought I would make a video about her. And honestly, after I made that video, I generally didn't think I was going to make a second video about her. Because I thought in my mind, oh, whenever, if it's real that she's actually pregnant or it's fake, like, there's no need to make another video about it. I already taught what I need to talk about in that video. But, uh, so many things has happened uh, since the, I uploaded that video. And I'm, I don't know if I should laugh of the, of the irony or... I just, I don't know. If I'm laughing, it's not because I find the situation funny. It's because I'm pissed and I have like no other way to react to this other than just laugh. Which is probably what Danielle wanted from us, right? Since this is all a prank. This was fake. This is what she wanted. Right? I, have, I don't even know anymore. So this little bitch <laughs> and her little bitch ass boyfriend thought it would be funny to fake a whole ass pregnancy and then make a four video docu series i guess about the whole situation the first one was where they tell the parents that they're expecting a child the second was getting fake married because that whole wedding was fake it was confirmed third where they went to a sonogram which by the way the lady that did the sonogram was actually a dentist like wow i didn't know dentists could do sonograms now i know everything and the final video which by the way it's been deleted how fucking convenient is that uh they did a gender reveal party well they revealed to the entire world that the whole thing was fake and of prank and the reason why they did this little fiasco is because danny gets called pregnant all the time that's literally the, like <sighs> no reason is no reason is valid i don't care your reasons faking a whole ass pregnancy making pregnancy as a joke and as a prank it it's not cute it's not a joke it's not funny like i don't care i don't care if she gets called pregnant 24 7 because her stomach is a little bit bloated i don't give a shit you don't fake a whole ass pregnancy and the other funny thing which is not really funny is the fact that danielle made a instagram video i think where she said, oh, I made this whole thing just to bring awareness about teen pregnancy. And I'm like, didn't your boyfriend just said in the gender reveal party that you guys did all this because you get called pregnant all the time? Like, which one is it, Danny? Which one is it? The other thing that pisses me off the most is that somehow after this whole fiasco, Danielle and her boyfriend still got followers, still got fans. And I legit read comments saying, Oh, I know what she did was bad, but she's so nice. She's so kind. She has a big heart. We still love her. Like, how can she be a nice person and then fake a pregnancy and then make a mockery about teen pregnancy and then glorify it like i don't understand can someone explain that to me because i don't fucking get it in my previous danielle Cohn video i said that i really hope that this whole situation was fake and 
part of me is glad that it's all fake because one, she's way too young to be a mom, and second, she would have been a terrible, terrible, terrible mom. And the other part of me is really pissed about this whole situation, and I'm here thinking, how did she think that this is a good idea? Because no matter the reason why she did this, it's not valid. She's gonna get a hate on. Because first, her boyfriend said, oh, she gets called pregnant all the time, that's why we did this. And then she said, I did this to spread awareness, which is really stupid and not valid. Like, if you wanna spread awareness about something, just talk about it. Don't, don't just fake the thing that you wanna spread awareness about. Like, imagine, if someone fake cancer and then at the end they said oh it was a prank and then they said oh I did this to spread awareness about cancer like can you imagine the shitstorm it would create and the amount of hate that person would get like that's that's what's gonna happen to Danielle and then after that she and her boyfriend said oh we didn't think this would get big we didn't think this would get this much attention we thought only our YouTube audience would see it. Like, we all know that's fucking bullshit. How, how can you tell us she didn't think this would get this much attention? You got at least Danielle. I don't know about her boyfriend, but Danielle has 3 million followers. So she knew that this whole thing was going to get big. And then she and her boyfriend decided to do a four-part video series about this whole experience to make it seem, oh, it's all real when it's not. Like, don't act like you didn't know this was going to get huge. Like, you knew this whole thing would blow out of proportion. You knew that people would talk about you. You knew that people you know, would speculate whatever this is real or fake, that people would share your video to their friends, to their other friends, just to talk about this whole fiasco. Like, they knew that this whole shit would happen. And they fucking milked that shit. And, they, and they're over here telling us they didn't know that this whole thing would get as much attention as they did? That's fucking bullshit. So that's basically my entire rant about this whole situation and I'm sorry this video was all over the place and if my thoughts were not like well organized enough. Uh, I didn't really plan to make this video, I just thought after making that Danielle Cohn video I wasn't gonna make anything else. But after hearing you know her excuses about why she did this and not really apologizing for doing this prank I just I just felt like I had more to say so that's why I made this video to just rant so thanks for watching this video if you made this far um, all my social medias will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next video hopefully uh, I will be calm, I will be a little bit more organized and what I need to say, I, I literally just said what I what I was thinking and just said it. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.